Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay. This is my channel where I share all about my knitting, crocheting, and crafting adventures. Today is March 30th. This is episode 134 and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady and we do have a group for this podcast on Ravelry. I will have links right down below this video in the description box for everywhere that you can find me. Links to shops that I talk about, project pages, because everything that I will show does have a project page, and also a link to the Ravelry group. You can find all of that right down below this video. So today, goodness, so much has happened <laughs> since last week's episode. If you follow me on Instagram or you've watched some of the videos here on YouTube, you'll know a lot of what's going on. There's been quite a bit that I've announced and talked about and we'll go over where all you can find all of that information throughout this video. And I've gotten quite a bit of things in the mail to share with you. I have some works in progress, no finished objects. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have a couple of those soon, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So first I want to let you guys know that the Summer Sock Camp 2021 information video is out now. You can find that here on YouTube. I will put a link for it up here in the corner, one of these corners. I don't know which side it goes on. <laughs> and then also below this video, I will link it. And then there's a playlist, Summer Sock Camp 2021, that you can find there. Um, it just chats all about camp, gives you all the details. It gives you the information for our sponsors. We have sponsors this year. We have an option for a VIP camper, which is new. We did not have that last year. So there's so many fun new things and I can't wait to just share all of the, the things with you. So I hope that you'll head over and check that out. I did wanna clarify as well because I've had so many questions after people watch that video. Um, the two questions that have been asked the most are, how do I sign up for camp and how much does camp cost? So the first one, how do you sign up for camp? You do not have to like officially sign up for camp. Um, if you want to participate in the knit along, you just head over to the Ravelry group, join the Crazy Sock Lady Ravelry group. You do have to be a member to be eligible to win those prizes in any knit alongs. Um, but yes, just join the Ravelry group and then the threads will go up closer to camp and you can start chatting away. There is the welcome desk thread is open. If you have any questions or wanna learn anything about camp, you can go there, but then you'll just enter your finished pairs of socks into the appropriate finished object thread, and that's all you have to do. Camp itself is, is just the tutorials, Instagram Live, videos weekly, that type of stuff, and you do not have to sign up or do anything for that. Um, and how much does camp cost? It's free, there is no charge at all nothing. Um, I want everyone to be able to participate. So I, I didn't want to have a fee for everyone to get the tutorials or anything. The tutorials are free. The Instagram lives are free. The VIP camper option. I went over that in the video. You can watch the um, video for more details on that. That is the only um, like slot that you have to like purchase that costs anything is the VIP camper. Just to participate, it is it does not cost anything at all. So I wanted to make sure I went over those two things since I'd had so many questions. Um, I apologize that that was not a bit clearer in the video, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that here. So I, like I said, we'll link the video. You can head over and watch it to find out all of the details about camp. All right, sip of coffee and then let's, let's jump into works in progress. I brought four of those down to chat about. So let's see. Um, actually, oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> I was like, I forgot one. No, it's right here. So this is a pair of socks that I'm working on for Eric in my So Crazy Crafter bag. Goodness, my video is very bright today. Let's try that. <laughs> Just looked like I was like a ghost on there. Um, so this is in my bag by So Crazy Crafter. You can see I have my camp pins. So I still had the one on there from last year and then I put this year's camp pin on there as well. Look how cute it is. 
just gonna be my camp pin bag, I think. <laughs> so the socks that I'm working on for Eric are out of the March Yarnable colorway, which was Celtic Fairy. And I'm doing the Rhinebeck Rumi's sock pattern. I did grab a mini that I had and I'm using it for the heel and I'll probably use it for the toe too. I don't know. I just thought that would be kind of fun. So still on the first sock using nine inch circulars, a US zero two millimeter, 64 stitches is what I have cast on. And I don't know that these will be done <laughs> by the end of the month since this is still the first sock. But that's okay because my, um, I've been trying to knit up the yarnable collarways like as they come in. And it's totally fine because my yarnable box doesn't arrive on the first of the month. So maybe they'll be done um, by the time I get my yarnable box, do the unboxing video and all of that. Maybe they'll be done by then. I am going to my sister's this weekend. I'll talk more about that later. So this will be a project that I take along to her house. So I also brought down my stocking, which is in a stolen minutes bag. I made some progress on this since you saw it. And see the house is starting to take shape here. This is um, the Christmas stocking that I'm making for myself. If you're new, I've been making Christmas stockings for my family and I have done one for both of my boys, my husband, and now this one for myself. And this pattern is by Ursula Almeida. It's linked via the project page down below and it is called Holiday Chalet and I'm loving it so much. And it's so funny to see my collar work progress as I've knit these stockings. My tension was so loose because I was worried about my collar work puckering. So I was definitely kind of overcompensating for that, I feel like, because the stockings have gotten smaller as I've went. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is probably going to be the smallest. Um, they are pretty good sized stockings anyways, but definitely I'm noticing like my collar work just looks much neater and even and the stocking is smaller. So it's fine. I'm not bothered. Um, I still have not blocked Eric's. I will show it again when it's blocked and nice and pretty. But yeah, I'm super pleased with how the collar work on this one's looking. The yarn I'm using, all of the details for that can be found on the project page as well, but it is Knit Picks palette and the colors are pimento is the red, ash is the gray, and then the white is just their bare undyed. And I do have links for all of those yarns in my project page. Uh, actually, I'm gonna save that one for last. I was gonna show you guys something super exciting, but I'll show that work in progress last. I have my afternoon tea share a pair socks in another bag by Carrie of Stolen Minutes. And I have one sock done. I did not bring a blocker over here, but here's the finished sock. So pretty. So this is a share a pair set by Amanda of Mandy's Makings. And the colorway is afternoon tea. I've talked about these so many times, but I feel like when I don't, I have questions. So the share a pair set, you get two sets. Each set has two 50 gram skeins. So in total, it's two skeins of yarn, but they're already split for you to share with a friend. Um, and Amanda's shop will of course be linked below if you wanna find out more details and check those out. Um, but I've been knitting these up with Amanda of Mandy's Makings and having so much fun. So this was our March colorway, was afternoon tea. And I did a tutorial for, I've been knitting them the same the whole time that we've been doing these. And 
it's striping them. So I did a tutorial on how I stripe every two rounds. I alternate the colors and then I'm alternating heels, toes and cuffs, the different colors. So you can find that tutorial. I'll link it down below and it just kind of walks through how I stripe those. It's definitely not a how to knit socks tutorial. It just goes through how I stripe those and then also how I do the heel um, flap and turn without having to cut the yarn um, and join everything back. So that's a fun one. I hope that it's helpful. On the second sock, because I, I did the tutorial with the first sock, so then the second sock has just been a little easier because I don't have to like get to a point then stop and record. So I am through, I'm on the gusset decreases still, but I'm through the heel. And I'm knitting these on nine inch circulars as well. US zero, two millimeter, 64 stitches. Basically just the um, vanilla socks on nine inch circulars pattern is what I'm following. I've just been doing a knit two purl two ribbing lately instead of the knit one purl one that's in that pattern. And I had someone ask why I've been doing that. I don't know. I just, whatever I feel like doing when I cast on, it goes the same for what needles I pick and also what ribbing. It's just whatever I feel like doing at that time. Lately, it's just been knit two, purl two. No real rhyme or reason <laughs> behind it. And I think I did say 64 stitches is what I'm doing for that. And I'm hoping to have this sock done today. Fingers crossed because Amanda has sent me the yarn for April, which is gorgeous. And hopefully it's gonna be here today and I can get that started on April 1st. If I can wait, it might have to be tomorrow. All right, last work in progress that I brought. If you watch the camp video, you've already seen this. If not, you're going to get to see some sponsor items in this episode. So here's one of our sponsor items. It is a bag by Carrie of Stolen Minutes with the Summer Sock Camp logo on the front and the back. She's got it on both sides. Such a cute bag. Has her striped lining that she always uses. And then there's her um, ring she puts on the inside. I always clip some scissors on there. Um, light bulb stitch markers. There's none on there right now because they are all on socks that are in here. <laughs> I also have another sponsor item in this bag. And if you want to find out more about the sponsor items, definitely head over and follow them. They will all be linked below as well as check out the camp video because I go over all the details on their items and when you can get them in that video. So I would suggest following them and watching the video. Um, so here is another sponsor item. This yarn is by Amanda of Mandy's Makings. It is a full skein and then a mini skein is what you get with that. And I am knitting shorty socks with this yarn for a couple of tutorials for camp. So I have two shorties done. So here is the first one. And then here is the second one. So I'm gonna do their mates is what I'm working on right now. I've got one going here and I have been doing these on Magic Loop, US one, 2.25 millimeter, 64 stitches. So yeah, these will be for two videos for camp, chatting about shorty socks and a couple of other things. So I can't wait. I'm gonna get started on those next week. It's gonna be like, all recording all the camp videos <laughs> commences next week and I can't wait to get started. So I'll go ahead, um, I'm gonna put a picture in here because I have not received this item yet, but I wanted to make sure I showed the sponsor items on here as well. Um, so Vita of So Crazy Crafter, the this bag that I have, she is also one of our sponsors and she has done a bag for camp with the logo 
on the front there's two different options you can get in the fabric at the top and they are drawstring bags and they're so stinking cute so head over and follow Vita as well and then that's kind of going to take us into mail yes we'll go ahead and chat about mail so we do have giveaway winners to announce from last episode as well so make sure you stay tuned and then we have a new giveaway for this episode but we'll go ahead and talk about some mail so our last sponsor we have four sponsors two bag makers two yarn dyers and the last one is a desert vista dye works if you did camp last year you might remember that she did a yarn for camp last year so this is the summer sock camp 2021 colorway it comes with a mini skein this year that looks like a fire and it is perfect I can't wait to cake this up and cast it on I'm struggling though because part of me wants to start it right now but then the other part of me wants to hold off and knit this during camp with y'all like cast this on June 1st with everyone that gets it so what do I do let me know should I cast it on now just because I can <laughs> or should I wait and do it with y'all because I really can't decide so yeah um Susan is gonna have the 2021 colorway as well as the 2020 colorway because she says she still has people asking if she can get that so make sure you follow her she's made a post with um the information and then I went over all of the information in the camp video okay we're just gonna we got a lot back here <laughs> we're just gonna go through here so I received this package I'll pull the paper out here so I don't forget anything so I'm gonna link her shop down below her name is Kayla which is so funny because that's my nickname is Kay but my actual name is Kayla fun fact there I don't think a lot of people don't um know that that that's my actual name so her website is fiberfoundry.square.site um and like I said I will link it down below it's fiber I think that's underscore foundry.square.site so she has hand spun yarn in oh my gosh so hand spun yarn I've actually never knit with hand spun yarn I'm thinking I don't need to look at what all these are but I might make socks with these y'all this is actually the first time I'm going through all of this I thought it would be fun to save this to look through yep oh my gosh I'm gonna make socks what do you think should I do some stripey socks with these so we'll look at these first so these are all fingering weight they are 50% acrylic 35% polyamide and 15% wool yes they are all the same I'm just double checking that they're all fingering yeah okay I think these are gonna have to be socks look how pretty let me show you this end without the tags that would make a gorgeous pair of socks these are so pretty okay I'm way too excited they are so soft and I have always wanted to knit a pair of socks with hand spun yarn but I have zero desire to spin but I have so badly always wanted to knit socks so this one is called fruity pebbles it is 100% merino 108 grams 350 yards oh that's pretty so pretty definitely reminds me of fruity pebbles that's the perfect name I love the feel of it as well gorgeous so thank you so much Kayla for sending these over I'm definitely like I said these are gonna have to be socks because they just feel so nice and they're so pretty together 
I'm so excited that I waited to open this on the podcast with y'all. That'll make some great socks. So definitely um, head over and check her out. I'm going to have all of her information down below. She also gave me her Instagram name. She says she is on Twitch and she streams Monday and Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Arizona time. And she has also given us a coupon code. So her coupon code is SOCKLADY10. And that will get you 10% off everything in her shop until the end of April. So head over and check out her shop. If you want to get your hands on some beautiful hand spun yarn. And then I may have ordered a couple of things. We'll talk about <laughs> these next. I do not need to be ordering anything. Um, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So I ordered from Legacy Fiber Arts. I love Sue and Chelsea. I love their yarn. And I just went on on a whim and was looking around and found a couple of beautiful skeins of yarn. So this one is her Judy colorway on the Steel Toes base, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino nylon. Thin green weight, of course, because what else do I ever buy? Such a pretty colorway. That just screamed at me. <laughs> and then I also bought Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I loved this color when it came out and just never got around to ordering it. And this is also the Steel Toes Base 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And that one is getting a smidge blown out. It's not quite as bright as it's showing on screen. I ordered those two and then Amanda Mandy's Makings had a shop update with some spring collars and I could not resist this. So this is her spring party colorway. It is on her 75 Superwash Merino 25% nylon fingering weight base. That's just such a beautiful pink. I love it actually think this is gonna be a design. I can't wait. So a viewer so sweetly sent in some yarn from her own stash to use as prizes or to keep. Um, I just thought that was so kind of her. So thank you so much Dagmar and these are just amazing. So she sent in the Sea to Sky sock set from The Cozy Knitter. very pretty. So this is on the Bliss Fingering Weight, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. I love Christina's yarn. It's so, so pretty. Then she sent in a skein of yarn by Mud Punch on a one-of-a-kind blouse colorway and is the Slash Self-Striping Sock, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. logo so these are beautiful and again I just thought that was so sweet of you to send that in from your own stash so these next two just kind of the the colors in these completely blew me away these are by crazy yarn crafter let me pull her card over here because she gave me some information on both of the collars so her name is Amanda and look at these like we're just gonna look at them real quick and then we'll talk about them oh my gosh and her logo is so cute too so crazy yarn crafter the first colorway is lucky and this one she created by wiping the dot like she wipes her gloves off on the yarn any dye that's on her gloves she wipes it off on the yarn that's just crazy to me that that creates this um she does that so she does not waste any dye i mean look how gorgeous that is and look how cute her logo is 
I just think this is so beautiful. And this is a 7525 base, superwash merino wool and nylon. And the lucky colorway. And then this one, oh, she said that this one just seemed like me and it does. So this, she was inspired by Fields of Berries and the um, colorway name is Berry Crush. I mean, that's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And this one is also the 7525 Merino Nylon, Superwash Merino Nylon Blend, fingering weight. That is definitely me. So Amanda is doing a deal right now that if you head over, you purchase from her shop, the first three people that purchase from her shop and mention the Crazy Sock Lady podcast will get a free project bag. Three people. First three of you that purchase, get that deal. So head over, her shop will be linked down below, Crazy Yarn Crafter. Don't miss out on checking out her yarn because, I mean, those are just stunning. Those, like, those look so well together too. But man, that one, it's definitely me. She was right spot on with that. All right, so our last item that came in the mail came from Susan. Look how gorgeous, this just screams spring to me, this fabric. This sweet drawstring bag. It's just so cute. So Susan has an Etsy shop called Morgan Rhodes Knits. And she sent over this bag and we're gonna use it for today's giveaway. But not only this bag. So what I'm gonna do, the giveaway for this episode is this drawstring bag with your choice, winner's choice of, let me hold them up here, these three yarns. So we have the Lucky Colorway from Crazy Yarn Crafter the Mud Punch, and then the Cozy Knitter. We have all three of these. You get to pick which one you want with the bag. I think they all look really great with the bag. So winner's choice on the yarn that'll go with the bag. All you have to do is comment down below this video. Any comment will enter you to win. It is open to anybody, anywhere. If you're out of the US, just cross your fingers that it gets to you, but I am totally fine shipping it. I'm crossing my fingers and sending up prayers as well that it, <laughs> it reaches its destination. Shipping is just so wild right now, but I am fine shipping them anywhere. So all you have to do is comment down below. I will pick a winner on the next episode, episode 135. So yeah, that's all you gotta do. That's today's giveaway. I think that's a pretty good one. I'm excited about that one because the bag is so cute and all of those yarns are gorgeous, so you can't go wrong. All right, we do have our winner from last week's episode. Oh, we have two winners. I'm sorry, we have two winners from last week's episode. Those are for the Progress Keeper sets. I have them right here. The one from Pacific Moon Knits. little macaroon progress keeper and then the set from Roro's crafty corner so I forgot to mention I did put it in the show notes last week but I completely spaced and forgot to mention that Pacific Moon Knits gave us a coupon code and that coupon code is CSL 15 that will get you 15% off and that never expires. She's not put an expiration date on that. So head over and check out Pacific Moon Knits um, and take advantage of that coupon code. So our winner for the Pacific Moon Knits Progress Keeper is Clarice Bruckner. So congratulations, Clarice. If you would just get in touch with me and give me your shipping information, I can get that sent out to you. And then for our set from Roro's Crafty Corner, it is Sevi Inel. Avalid. I am probably butchering that. Of course, everything's on the screen. I apologize. Um, but just get in touch with me again, crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com. And I will get that sent out to you. So congratulations to both of you for winning 
those prizes. And I'm just remembering we have another giveaway for this episode. This one came in. It is a pattern giveaway. So let me pull it up here. I put it on my phone. So this is the Tulip Delight basket pattern. And I know I saved some pictures for y'all. Here we go. Let's see, there we go. It's cute, cute pattern by Artistically by Amber. I will link this pattern down below. And then um, same thing, all you have to do is comment down below. And um, if you want to be entered for just the pattern, put the pattern, just the others, put the others, um, that type of thing. But just a comment down below will enter you to win and then I will draw those winners on the next episode. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for the knitting stuff today. I do wanna let y'all know that the Q&A video for March went up this morning. So if you want to watch that, you can head over and watch the Q&A video. I'll put a link for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the knitting today. Um, let's see what all has been going on. So the kids are on spring break right now. Their first day of spring break was this past Friday. Today's Tuesday. And we are going to go to my sister's on Friday and spend a couple of days just down there in West Virginia. And I'm so excited. My dad's birthday is this weekend, so we should get to see him for his birthday. So that'll be nice. I haven't got to see my dad like on or for his birthday and I couldn't tell you how long so that'll be nice to get to see him and spend some time with him this weekend. The boys are excited to get to see their cousins. I've really been doing too much so we did go shopping over the weekend. The boys needed some spring slash summer clothes, some stuff for some warmer weather so we went and did some shopping for them. Spent Saturday outside for the majority of the day, which was nice. It was a lovely day. Today is supposed to be a nice day, so I'm hoping to get out for a run today. I've been slowly but surely getting back into running just a couple of times a week, and it's been really nice. I forgot how much I enjoy it once I really get back into it. Those first couple of times are so rough. <laughs> My legs were so sore because I have not ran since we, well, once since we left Arizona, once in the hotel and when we first moved here and that was it because I started running last summer in Arizona and just completely loved it, was running mostly every day and then I just kind of fell off of it during the move. Things were so crazy. So it's nice to kind of be getting back to that routine. I just had no desire to go out and run when the weather was cold none at all. So now that it's starting to warm up, it's really nice to get out and enjoy some fresh air and sunshine and get an exercise in. I knit for a few days with Carrie last week, which was nice. I felt like it'd been a while since we had really just spent time hanging out and seeing each other other than recording the One More Row podcast. So that was nice. I don't know that we're going to get to record this week. She's been out of town um, for spring break and then I'm going out of town for spring break on Friday. So there may not be a new episode of the One More Row podcast until maybe next week. I'll have to see, but I, I doubt that we will, um, have time to record over the next couple of days. And even if we do, I don't know that I'll have time to edit and get it up. So there might be just a smidge longer of time between those episodes, but that'll be okay. We'll have lots to talk about when we get back together for another episode. But I think that's pretty much it. I am definitely looking forward to just taking a couple of days off this weekend to just spend time with family in West Virginia. I'm already thinking about what projects I'm going to take because, you know, I think I'm going to have all this knitting time. But probably not because I'm driving. Eric's not able to go because he has to work all day on Friday. So it's just going to be the boys and I. So I will not have that driving time. Austin is almost old enough. <laughs> He's almost old enough that he will be able to drive those, those places. But we're not there yet. Um, so I don't think I'll get as much knitting time as I think I will, but I'm t already thinking about what sock projects I'm going to take just in case I do get some knitting time. So I hope that you guys have a good week, that you have a good weekend this weekend, and I will see you next week for another episode. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.